Oh gosh. This is the sketch bridge if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Holy nuts. Uh, everybody said to get the str strawberry shortcake here, so let's frag and try it. Banana chips. Oh! oh! Guys, I don't know why people haven't recommended this to us. They should have been telling us to go to Boggy way sooner. This is so cool. <laughs> Welcome to Baguio, everybody. It's a crisp 5 a.m. here, and uh, we're about to head out and do some hiking in the pine trees in the Philippines. Are you prepared? They have pine trees here? I thought they only had coconut trees. Coconut! <laughs> if you're wondering if, why we haven't assaulted that Jollibee, it's in our last video, or a video that hasn't come out yet, I'm not sure. I don't know when it's gonna come, but it's coming, so <laughs> just know that it's there. I, I never assault it twice. No, you can't. It's I never goal. assault it twice. <laughs> we just spent about uh, 45 minutes to an hour in here. We got here bright and early, so we were ready. Not even bright and early, it was dark. It's and sure, early. dark and early. <laughs> We are ready to conquer this place, and uh, that's gonna start with some hiking. And then, on to the next thing. We're gonna hit all the epic spots here in Baguio, and uh, hopefully it'll be an epic trip. And maybe just a t our dipping our toes in this area, because there's a lot to see around in the mountains and the province and close provinces. Here's a, here's a little little wave right here. Uh -huh. Here's a little toesies. Oh my, the toes are in the waves. <laughs> just dipping them. Oh, let's go. We already have Tahoe vendors out. We'll have to get some of that. We will eventually. I don't know if it's best to just get it off the street or best to get it from a restaurant or something. Guess we'll see. We won't be able to see anything on the hiking trail if it's all misty. Ooh, it'll be like the misty pines. <laughs> We got some murals here. Hi, uh, Camp John Hay. I'm Jen. Yes. We have the colorful jeans. They're not that colorful downtown. It's like when we got in the Antipolo. Antipolo, they got yeah. really colorful. And even Hilo Hilo has yeah. some too. Such a different feel here. like something you think you'd like a ball. It, it looks very cool when we're coming in. It was dark and you just see the lights from all the houses throughout the, the valleys. Yeah. And everything. It's really cool. Uh, we'll, we'll gather the feel of the city a little more. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells good out here. <laughs> Goblin happy about the smell? Like, that gave me a weird feeling in my stomach. You can smell the pine trees. I haven't had that smell in a while. Mm. And you can hear nothing but birds. Wow, it's so much calmer out here than the old metro. Who would have expected a city with 18 million people <laughs> to be a bit louder than this Why city? isn't it like this? I don't yeah, understand. Honestly, honestly, Manila, step up your game. Step it up. I want to see more out of ecosystem trees in Manila. Come oh on. Goodness. This is so different. I mean, just the views, the misty mountains. The temperature. Yeah, it's a lot cooler. It's actually really nice right now. Yeah, we were, it was a bit cold when we first got here, but now. Beautiful. Oh. Fracking beautiful. I'm excited. This should be pretty dang cool. There we are, Cap Johnny Boy Hey. Captain Johnny Boy. I wanted to see a pine cone. I want a pine cone. We can eat it. We gotta taxi a little bit. So they use only... the meter first without asking. Hey. So that's always good. Manila, you never know. You never know for sure. We... On our failed attempt to come here yesterday, we had one guy that gave us a price cheaper than Grab, so we were like, okay. But then the second guy metered us, and it was half of the first guy and about a third of grab. So grab's the ultimate scam here. Beautiful. It smells so fracking good. It does, it's nice. I don't know if we've just been living in the city too long, because we <laughs> we're not used to the beautiful smells of nature anymore. Back at home in Minnesota, there is a forest in my backyard. There's forests everywhere. Everywhere. The pines. Chris Pine? Chris Pine? The actor? Hello, it's me, Chris Pine. I'm in Star Trek. <laughs> what else are you in? 
is in some other space movie, I think. Uh, I don't know, Chris Pine. Chris Pine. <laughs> Holy frack, they have mini golf. Mini golf. Mini golf. There's the little activity area, uh, paintball. That's the rock wall. The rock wall is pretty high. It looks a little scary. Yeah. I thought that was a fragging big I, black dog. I did too. I did too. Like half a second. <laughs> a big hole in him. Oh, frack. Somebody shot him with a paintball. This is like all the paintball. And then this one. Got him. That one is full of lead. Rip. Rip paintball guy. Okay. Oh, eco trail. Ah, my eyes aren't good enough for that. Frack. All right, eco trail. Bang. We're hiking in the Philippines? What? Economy style? Economy style. Ooh. A bit wet. It is a bit wet. Wait. Holy nuts. Oh no, this paintball is actually pretty big and epic. Oh, whoa. It's uphill. That would be interesting. It looks like the one BTS did in that airsoft. True, yeah, it does. Is this going to be Cobra filled? I don't know. This is pretty tight. Holy frack. This is <laughs> very small. Wet. We haven't done any early morning hikes in a long time. The last time we did any like morning hikes was probably our road trip in the U.S. As you can see, the fog is nice. And so, oh, there's like a no, it's not a nest. I thought that was an eagle nest or it something. Like there's a fracking bridge. It reminds me a little bit of Northern California. Yeah, it kind of. The trees it, aren't as big, obviously, but. It has the like really thick vegetation of Northern yeah. California. Oh gosh. This is a sketch bridge if I've ever seen one. Holy oh, right. nuts. That's quite the drop. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Um, hopefully we don't die. Make sure you got both hands on your hand or else even uh, though you have a GoPro. Okay, uh, I'll go first and then you come around so I can record you. When you come around. When you come around. This is fracking <laughs> sketchy number one. Sketchy bridge in the Philippines? Ah! This eco trail needs some revamping. Oh, this is like a single, these are single boards. Oh this will break if I put my weight on it for sure. This one's got metal, not great metal. Oh gosh, okay. Um, time to not die. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dusty old troll. Who lives under the bridge? The dusty old troll. Who's gonna die? <laughs> we, all right, crawl down there. We'll make a troll skit. All right. Uh, I don't need to crawl. I'm just gonna jump. Okay. I'll probably land down there. That's like 10 feet. Yeah, I like these boards. That one would definitely snap if you stepped on it. Oh. Oh, sick. That's really green. It's the. Oh, paint. the paint. Ah. Uh. All right, it's not over yet, don't worry. Let's try not to die. I bet we'd get a nice little cut up leg if we fell through one of these boards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I expect it to be like not that bad and then it's all the boards wiggle. <laughs> They're very rotted. Did I just get bit by a skeet? I might have, I don't know. Oh no, the skeets. The skeets love your blood. I don't want malaria. Malaria. What is this? Are you beyond it? Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. Hello. Do you live on the eco? There's a thing right there. There's a switch. I need a long stick to flip that switch. You turn me on like a light switch. Ah, ah frick. Give me the stick. Here, catch. Oh. Stick. Hopefully there isn't any, ele any electricity conducted through this stick. It probably just turns on the light that's above it. Or the light bulb's out. It didn't work. Well, I had a stick now. Do you hear that? The coppers are coming. <laughs> Ah, the cops! Fracking cops! <laughs> There's gonna be a cobra. I was gonna just, I was gonna make a rattlesnake sound, but I forgot it'll be silent but deadly. Well, these rattlesnakes will let you know you're about to get fracking murked. Wow, look at the sunrise on the trees. 
We're the only people out here. This is beautiful. It's very ominous. <laughs> this is very beautiful. I like the mix of like the giant jungle ferns in the pine trees and like yeah. stuff like this. Yeah. And then it's got like the all the like I don't know what the frack these are. This is like Fistles? old pine needles. Yeah, they're probably. They're um, decently tall. Yeah, they're not like super wide. I mean, that was pretty wide, but they're not super wide. But they're pretty dang tall. That's probably like that's probably like seven thousand feet, honestly. Seven thousand at least. Oh yeah, I brought it. Look at this. <laughs> Come on. Aqua flask. And the water will be cold. Is that like a bird dying? Or mating. It's cold. You want to see what I brought? Oh, yeah. Hiking essentials. We're expert hikers, so this is what you want to bring if you're going on a hike. An aqua flask. A duck with go. a necklace. Thank you, duck. Do you like to be out here, Duck? That's right, you, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And a croc. Now, uh, we're both going to hold these guys the rest of the trip. They're not going to go back in the bag. Oh, I also brought one more thing. <sighs> Don't worry. This is very epic. A bag of banana chips. Banana chips. Oh! <sighs> my Adam's apple move. A little bit. <laughs> Ducky, you want some pine, uh, pi not pineapple chips, banana chips? Yes, father. Wow, you are very polite today. It must, he's better early in the morning. He's very sleepy. Here you go. Well, and I killed him. Oh, he's back from the dead as a more polite duck? Yes. Thank you for your offering and gift, father. You're welcome. Thank you, father. Now go to sleep. Okay, father. Good night. Good night. I bid you farewell, father. Would you like your friend, Sue? Um, no, father. Well, he's coming with you. Father! Also, you guys can join. I'm a stump boy, stump stump. I'm a stump boy, stump stump. Watch this, guys, watch this. So we're going up to the best viewpoint in all of Bagiao right now. Uh, over here, as you can see, look at the tree line. It's glorious, it's beautiful, and it's fantastic. I mean, look at these trees. This tree, very solid. This tree, very solid. This tree, my. Why are you hitting me, dude? <laughs> Is that an Australian tree? <laughs> Oi, bro, what you doing to me, mate? Oi. There's a river down there. This trail is pretty cool. There's just a lot of weird, like, animal noises going on. I think it's bird. Ow! There's a stick that poked me. This trail is very narrow. Yeah. What the heck? It literally goes into a river. Is there going to be, like, the largest crocodile in the world in this Ooh, little right, creek? Like, a, we didn't, like, expect, like, many super dangerous animals in the Philippines because nobody really, like, mentions that they're super dangerous animals, but there's, like, insanely big crocodiles in Mindanao and there's cobras but uh you know easy 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 collapse easy wow this is like I could take it I could take that thing too both of them actually That's at the same time I'm just like saying in theory if it happened you would handle it oh easy I mean look at these fracking muscles oh the, the rock is that you by the way some of you guys didn't understand that joke last time I did it oh Look at these, these trees are very green down here. What if we saw like a large crocodile just trying to hide in this tiny creek? All of a sudden it starts doing it to run at us. <laughs> I don't know what the heck we'd do. We'd probably die. We're the only people out here. We haven't seen a soul. Please don't wiggle. Oh, it did, oh, it did wiggle. Holy nuts. Oh gosh. I really don't want a wet foot. It's deep enough too where it's definitely going like almost knee. How's this one? Go for that giant crocodile coming up behind you. Oh no. Burning. Burning. Alrighty. Alright, no Iceland repeat moment. Uh, who knows? Holy frack! Don't, don't speak too soon. Everywhere we've gone, I always get a wet foot. <laughs> 
Guys, just so you know, when I went and bought my boots, I made sure to buy two different colors. <laughs> Oof. He took a slip into that, which is very deep for some reason. It's like right on that trail, just suddenly the trail just whoop. Victory spot. Oh, it's spooky. Oh, we are in the jungle. We're in the fragging jungle. Slash pine forest. I'm, I'm not sure what you call this. Okay, there's a trail this way. There's a trail that way. And there's a trail this way. I think this is a dilemma only solved by one equation. And that is? I have no clue, honestly. <laughs> um, well, this one goes up a hill. It's kind of interesting. Let's see if this one continues. You would not expect, for I'm assuming 95% of tourists that come to the Philippines, I doubt they know this exists. It, it seems like Tagaytay and Baguio are more Filipino tourists. Yeah, it does. Than foreign tourists. All the foreign tourists go to Palawan and Boracay. This seems very local, which is cool. I mean, look at that. That's sick. That's really beautiful. This is the type of stuff we enjoy doing and we get excited about. No. We like parties, nightlife, epic festivals, cities like like uh what do you call it like um fancy areas of cities oh that's us definitely not the woods like this where there's really treacherous little fracking parts right here we, we haven't hiked in a long time no we haven't we were we used to be pro at stuff like this i don't like these random wires or tubes Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just a really dark branch at first, like this really dark leaf. Yeah, there's a lot of different uh, colors in this place. Hopefully no plants are poisonous. I think our trail is coming to an end underneath this very naturally forming shelter. Wow, this is fantastic. Oh, uh, or it crosses across here. Holy nuts, it crosses! Um... Is that step, or do you have to step on that flat rock? Probably. I don't know if that actually will continue though. It looks very vegetated down there. So we have to swim up the creek, you're saying? Yeah, in a shark costume. In a shark, oh, you should have brought it. This would have been the spot. Guys, we have an epic shark costume where we go by in and out in a shark costume. That video. Like three years ago. The video might be coming uh, like this fall Who knows? sometime. It was very epic. It was epic. I think we're gonna go out on a limb and call this not a trail because it looks like it ends right up there. And I don't know if this could be a trail. Welcome back to Is It A Trail or Is It Not A Trail? Today we're joined by special guest Teeler and he's gonna be telling us today, is this a trail or is it not a trail? Hi, I'm Teeler. Uh, I'm gonna say based on, based on some of the things here, like this very flooded over rock session and this tree and the trail disappearing like here, that Isak, it is not a trail. Isak? Hello? What the fracking crack? I came out here for a game show and now I'm abandoned in the middle of the woods. In the fracking woods! Hello? Hello? Isak? GMA camera crew, are you out here? This is. Hello? Hold on, hold on, I think I heard something. Oh, frack. Hello? Wow. Holy wow. nuts! Wow. Welcome back to another episode. Oh. oh, that really tired me out. Is it a trail or not a trail? Keeler, hit me up. Is this a trail? Can you first explain to me what that was? I can't control him. Are you possessed by a walk lock? I'm afraid right now. Oh, yeah. oh God. I don't think I'm getting paid enough for this. How much am I getting paid for this? Um. Seven pesos? An hour. An hour. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's worth it. Welcome back to another episode of Teeler's Where's the Trail. Um, today, 
we got a special episode because we don't know which one's the trail. So we're going to be asking Teeler what he thinks the trail is. Okay. okay. Um, uh, let me give you some hints here. Uh, if you see, a lot of times when you're walking and there's a flat part with no vegetation on it, that's when you think that that's a trail usually. So that's a little hint for you as well. Oh, okay. Um, well, well, they both seem to be like that, so... Um, I guess this one has a rock passage, but this one also has some tree cuttage over here. Um, I mean, I mean, maybe just because this one curves up and down, but this one, this one has the, the, the steps, so... Isak? What the frack? Isak! Hello? Isak! Isak! God, seven pesos is not enough for this. Isak, wait! Wait, 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 wait! He's running from me. He's running from me. Isak, Isak! Oh, 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 I did not do endurance training for this. Oh my god. Hello? Hello? Is, is anybody here? Hello, Trail. Welcome back to Is It a Tyler or Not? Today, we're going to be seeing whether or not you can identify where the frack we are. I'm going to guess we're in the woods. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! I don't like the woods! I don't like the woods! Oh, oh he's so fast! He's so fast! I have to endure it. He's so fast! I think I should be coming up on another seven pesos soon. Oh, oh god. Oh god. I can't run anymore. I can't run. Hello? Oh, frack. He's running. I think he left something on that rock. What the frack is this? Uh, whoa. 20 pesos? That's almost three hours of work. This finally might be worth it. <laughs> ah, I just gotta... Oh, oh wow. That is quite the beautiful sunset. Although I'm horrified, it is a beautiful place out here. Welcome! Oh. Oh god. Oh god. You gotta give me a break, dude. So I don't know if you know what this game show we're doing is, but today we're gonna be finding out whether or not the trail is the trail. I've, I've heard that like five times. And a, a pro tip for you. If you look, the vegetation on the ground, if there's veggies, then the trail, like the blockage. So, uh, look. It looks the same. There's only one trail. There's not even any other options. And the blockage. Huh? Isaac, are you malfunctioning? Destroy all humans. Huh? Huh? I'm coming for you. Oh. Oh, what the frick? In the ceiling, overdrive. Oh my gosh. Oh my! <sighs> Guys, you ready? I'm a, I'm an epic vape nation. Vape nation! I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Probably not, but we can see our breath. It's, it's the, the first, first time. time that's happened since good old Minnesota. Probably since for us, probably since Georgia. We haven't been in Minnesota in the. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to Trail Finder! Today we're gonna be- We're wondering, the guards we asked where the trail was up there, they can probably hear us screaming and yelling down here. And if they come for us, I will destroy them. This is such, like, we haven't gone that far, that's where we started, over there. Like, we just basically walked around this little, like, bottom of this hill here. But, this is a nice trail. So it looks super cool. The, it was really cool to be here as the sun was coming over this mountain too. 
you kind of just have some rays coming through in between the trees on the vegetation the nice dew on the plants is sparkling it's pretty epic Did you just say mountain dew mountain dew <laughs> Uh, we're in the Philippines. It's called Mountain Jew. The road. Good old fashioned hiking. We're gonna get a nice view of the city, uh, except for all these trees. <laughs> we got a nice view of the road. You can see a tiny bit of the city. Hey. The city seems very spread out. It does. Not as walkable, even for us. There's some jeepneys down there though, they're going. Jeepy jeepy jeeps. Jeep. I get my jeepneys down in Georgia, yeah that's it. I get my weed from California. I get my hollow hollow street from the source. <laughs> should we make a peaches cover Philippines edition? We should. It would be atrocious, I bet. I get my lechon from Cebu, yeah that's just it. So it looks like we go up the mountain now. Up we go. We're actually going up to the top of this one. Some elevation gain. I wasn't expecting to actually like it to go up a mountain. It seemed like it was gonna just kind of snake its way down towards the city. Cobra. Cobra. <laughs> just walking through the fracking woods. Hey, hey, how many of you can say you saw vloggers just walk through the woods and scream and talk about cyborgs and stuff? And do this in the forest. <laughs> With a stuffed duck in their backpack. Yeah. I would guess the number is zero because <laughs> that was a very particular case. <laughs> and nobody's weird enough to carry around a stuffed duck. What does that say? Welcome to camp. Oh, welcome. That's also a trail? Why is it so green over here? What the dog? Like from California. <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy nuts, a pine cone. Finally, it's time for breakfast. <laughs> Planted to a tree. Yeah! That's going to be a beautiful tree. I okay. know. Ooh, it got darker in here. Scary. The sorcerer's there. <laughs> we made a lot of weird uh, hiking skit videos like this in Georgia. Where we just walked straight through the woods. And, uh, so, so if you like this video, then you could go check out those ones. Yeah, it's a fun time. The sorcerer's lair. If anyone understands that reference, I, not from us, but from what it's from, I will give you ten dollars. That's epic. Somebody will look it up on Google. Yeah, I won't trust anyone because <laughs> of that now. Super fantastic, baby. Wow. Ah, spider web right across my fracking forehead. Yikes! What the heck? Yoinkers. Yoinkers, dude. Yoinks! Right? Right? Yeah, people say we sound like Scooby Doo sometimes, and I don't even do my Scooby Doo voice. Scooby? I just go like this. Zoinks! Right? Private property. You will be shot if you cross this line. Uh oh. Let's go! Oh, I wanna be shot! <laughs> What the frack did this trail turn into? I don't know. Where is this fracking going? This is Cobra territory. Is that a home right there? Carved out? I think the only way to find out is by throwing a rock at it. Hello? Does somebody live in this area? Hello? It literally looks like somebody carved this out and is living inside of here. What the frack? They literally did. I don't know if they were living in there, but they made like a little home. That was quite epic. All right, we have now found a new tribe in the Philippines. We can name it since we discovered it. New title of the video. We made an epic scientific discovery in the Philippines. That's just open-ended enough to get mad views. In parentheses, Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh as well, you almost took a tumble. I almost died. Into the weeds. We need one of those sticks that just goes way out, like uh, up here. And then it disappears the stick and it makes everything look super weird. And then the audio would probably be great. Yeah. Well, look at this plant. Wow, that is not something you usually see in a pine forest. Should I grab it? Yes, you should. And go... 
This is such a weird forest. This is just a random mound right there. What's up on top of this mound? <laughs> I love mounds. I freaking love mounds. Oh, I almost fell. Oh, no. <laughs> That's quite the steep mound. It's pretty steep. Just gotta go. Just never stop. I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. Oh, frack. You got it. Oh, what the? Oh, it's the golf course. Really? All right, I need to never stop. There's a... Huh? There's a golfer right there. It's the golf course. <laughs> He's come out of nowhere. Hi, golfers. We came out of the woods. And now... There's somebody watering the plants over there. Uh-oh. Now we return to the woods. Whoa! Holy frick! I almost slid right into that. Ooh. All right, well, we found this golf course. That was a slippery, slippery golf. <laughs> wow, they really destroyed the forest for that stupid golf course. Seems to, be a, seems to be a common theme in a lot of places where we see golf courses. They just destroy all the beautiful nature to build a stupid golf, golf course for rich people? Wow. What the heck? I don't know how that happened. Uh, I guess mine is a little dirty, too. You have a nice pool for me. <sighs> My shoes are on their last leg. I've had them for over a year. Not over a year, actually. I didn't get them before I left, actually. In Grammy? Yeah, so I've had them for like eight months, seven months, something like that. Seven or eight months. They've lasted. Whoa. Oh, well, there's a this, is, this is such an interesting trail. It's just bamboo now. It's so weird. It's pine trees next to bamboo. You can, you can only find that in a botanical garden. Oh my gosh, this is a botanical garden? There's a spider web on there. Hello, where's the pandas? If there's bamboo, there has to be pandas, right? I think that's how the world... I had to sneeze so bad this whole time, <laughs> and I just can't. There's a pine cone in that bamboo. Are these <laughs> creating a new species? <sighs> Why is that so apparent? It's pretty, I'm pretty hot now. Age of Empires? <laughs> yeah, my back's a little sweaty. Me too. I feel like it might be decently toasty later today. Yeah, we're not in the sun yet. Uh-uh. Let's make sure to put on sunscreen, even though it's cold. Yeah. I bet you we can get burned. Definitely need sunscreen. We got burned in fracking Iceland. The coldest fracking place you can fracking go. That is dark and creepy. That sounds... That... Something... Just randomly appeared down at the end of that. That would be really scary. What the frack? Is that a spirit? Hello, spirit. I call forth to you. Tell me your name. He's fracking gone. I'll investigate. Spirit. Spirit, where are you? This looks like a place there would be spirits. Weird samurai spirits. Hello? My name is Gregory! Gregory! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Alright, just pretend you struck out first. Oh! Swinging a fracking. <laughs> I don't want to fully commit to it. Oh! It's a pretty strong boy. Dang, bamboo. Cross section? Oh, there's a hollowness inside. Oh, wee! In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I'm so sorry to you guys if you thought this would be a normal, <laughs> serious vlog. Sometimes we get comments if we show any personality that we're nerds. So. Especially for the the demographic that we generally would. Oh, wait, frag that I was landing on my head. <laughs> This is a fracking cool trail. This is really cool. All of a sudden we're just going through a bamboo forest. What the heck? In the jungle. Guys, 
I don't know why people haven't recommended this to us. They should have been telling us to go to Bagyal way sooner. This is so cool. Yeah, what the heck, guys? Really bad recommendation. Cinelog, come on. <laughs> you were little mischievous boys. <laughs> I bet there's at least three comments angry about They're that. They're already typing it up. Being like, oh, I told you to go already. And they don't realize what sarcasm is. <laughs> oh, we're leaving the bamboo. Hello? Ah, Poe. Poe, are you here? Poe the panda? Yes. Hello, it's me, Jablinski Games. <laughs> Poe? That sounded exactly like you. I'm great at it. I, if I heard Jack Black, maybe I could do it. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a, uh, I don't even know. Any impression I do, I just put <laughs> emphasis on my voice. That's all I do. It's me. <laughs> it's me, Mario. Wow, come on. This is why we can't have nice things. Wow, we are way up here. We basically what the heck happened to that tree. You get struck by lightning? Yeah, I can't. Im uh, the weather events are crazy here. I imagine there's some. I know there's landslides. There's always earthquakes in the north. It seems like. Surprised there's not like mad forest fires up here. Yeah, there might be forest fires too. Who for knows? Hmm. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. I just have two songs stuck in my head now: Peaches and Lion King. <laughs> What the heck? Is that for aliens? I think so. Ancient aliens. <laughs> Ancient aliens. I need, to, I need to make my hair all crazy. And... You have to. How was the Colosseum built? It had to be aliens. The road is kind of taken away from our natural feeling out here. My immersion. I don't feel like I'm in a real VR game anymore. Now it's just real life. Very sad. So crazy to me, bamboo, pine forest. Yeah. The Philippines, what a wonderful place. What a wonderful world. Also, little tip for you guys, that wasn't sarcasm, by the way. Wow, these pine trees are very small. People seem to think that sarcastic instantly means bad here, which is interesting. And uh, some people then seem to think when we're not even being sarcastic that we're being sarcastic. And maybe that's because we're so sarcastic that they just assume everything we say is sarcastic. I will admit, there are some times when we watch our own videos back and we're like, wow, I don't think a single person could understand that <laughs> because they don't. <laughs> There's no way for them to because we say it in the exact same tone. Nothing switches. It, we're just saying something weird. Spider! But then like the Philly hotel wasn't even sarcastic. There was one sarcastic joke at the end of our Philly hotel short and people just freaked out. Very interesting. Um, this one's thicker, but this one is There's straight. red and green down there. Hello? I guess let's go down thick boy. Thick boy alert! Thick boy alert! We don't have the oh, there's a, that's a thick boy. Whoa, yeah, that's the biggest one we've seen. Thick boy alert! Thick boy alert! Not quite as thick as the redwoods, but very thick. And then now that I said that, why are you comparing it? This is like the size of like some of the biggest trees in Minnesota. Yeah. There's some, a little bit smaller. There's some fat oak trees, like really I, fat oak I trees. Saw, I think I saw the biggest of one species of oak. And I think it was ragged massive. <laughs> Oak trees can have the, like, they can have like the multiple oh. trunks in one tree thing, which is pretty interesting. Oh, we're going down. Don't get speared. <laughs> is that a mushroom? Holy frack. Yes. I want to go to the magical place with the shadow elves. You can meet Joe Rogan. And Alex Jones. I'm telling you, man, there's shadow elves down there. Shadow elves in a, you're laughing. You're laughing, but I, I'm serious. I'm serious. That's true. And the shadow elves are down there. Okay. Have you ever tried DMT before? Of course, I saw the shadow elves. <laughs> That's our impression of the Joe Rogan and Alex Jones podcast. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Hello. Well, we're back to the road. We completed the trail? We have. It's a bit steep right here. And uh, pine needle -y? Oh, there's an epic jump right here. Oh, epic jump! Whoa, whoa. There's like a fence right there that could trip and murder you. Okay, I'll 
take it a bit slower. Whoa! Wow, we fracking made it. Back to the civilization. It's busy as nuts. Wow. Cobra. Ba -da -bum -bum. Why is it always the Cobras? Are people that drink Cobras just litterers? Yes, I, I don't know. The frack. All right, I guess we'll cross the street and start heading this way. Time to die. It's actually some decent traffic right now. Pretty fracking busy. And a lot of the jeepneys are full. Yeah, what the heck? I didn't expect this. I guess people are going into work. There's a little strip mall here. We saw some of the view from over there. You couldn't see much on the camera, but it was pretty cool. The mountains are cracking massive. There's a Korean BBQ place there. Wow. It expands even to Baguio, the love for Korean BBQ. There's a buffet for only four, four, nine. That's cheaper than Viking. Oh, wow. This is a very busy crosswalk down there. Way down there. I'll build a cross right here. Oh! Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum. Fantastic. Fantastic, baby. Bow, bow, nail, nail, nail. There's a lot of music references in this song. Hopefully, <laughs> you guys know your music. Otherwise, you might be a bit lost. Yeah. <laughs> The sun's a bit toasty. Yeah, it's still such a good air temp. So. Early morning sun? Wow, it is nice though. It is like literally beautiful. It's not even humid. It's beautiful out today. The Baguio weather might be for us. Bog bog. Bog bog. We can call it the bogger. Boggy. Baba boy. Baba boy. <laughs> but a dog. That's a school with a view. They probably don't even appreciate the view there because they see it every day. So it's not cool anymore. Some people will probably think the view from like our houses in Minnesota with like all the trees is cool. But we don't appreciate it because no. we see it all the time. And if you look out my bedroom window, it's house. There's like my neighbor's house across the street, then it's all woods. It's very it's nice. With a lot of lakes. Yeah, there's a lot of lakes. There's a pond in my backyard that sometimes has a beaver. Alright, yeah, so we're just heading down this road. We should be to downtown soon. It's probably right up here it looks like. So um, we're gonna keep walking. Maybe get some brekkie. Brekkie! Oh, let's go. It's pretty bustling still. It's so much smaller than Manila, but it still has so many people. The roads are very windy too. They are. It's like it's like putting a large city it's like 600k or something like that yeah, yeah. winding in the mountains which is which makes sense why why this would occur so right now we are we've just been walking sm bagyao is up there and we're gonna head to the bus station to uh see what the options are for later a college right here university of Port Cordilleras? Cordilleras? Should we do another campus video? Go to the University of Cordillerias? Yes. Such interesting places for our schools. They're just like... On, yeah, just on the side of the cliffs and stuff. Hmm. Oh, it's there's... like a lot of the places, a lot of the buildings in this are just wherever. Wherever they can fit. Not much space. Here's the mall. Parking lot right here. Might be a pretty big mall. It's pretty fancy. Dang, it's still closed though. <laughs> we'll be back there tonight. Right across from the bus station. Fantastic. All right, there's where we need to be. Let's cross with this guy. Boom, 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 boom. Whenever I see somebody crossing the street, it's all, I always try to jump in there with them. They're, mu they're more, or they're less likely to hit you if it there's enhances, multiple. It enhances the flow of traffic as yeah. well. Yes. Ooh. Of course, uh, big sidewalks here, but a giant tree in the <laughs> middle a of it. Tree. Well, 
Welcome to downtown Baguio. That is a cool city. Oh, yeah, whoa. Well. Kind of has a... Uh, that's a cool, that's a cool city. It's such a different layout than we're used to in the Philippines. Because all the cities we've been to in the Philippines are in a flat area. This one's in the mountains. It has more of like a, uh, it has the buildings stacked on top of each other, which is super cool. I wonder if there's any other reason, because even just the buildings in general are a bit different. I wonder if there's any other reason, gen just the geography that it's built a little different here. Yeah, it's really cool. They're definitely more concrete, like, I mean, they're really concrete in the Manila, but they're, yeah, they're built different. They're very, maybe they're more earthquake resistant since yeah, this area true. gets earthquake so much. Probably. Where the frack is this place? It says it's right next to us. It's down the, maybe it's up? It says it's right here. I don't know. Hold on. Oops, sorry. Let's just get a view of the street. Fantastic. We're gonna try to find where this place is. Okay, so the 50s diner is it the 50s diner is closed. We just assumed it would be open. Because it's a 50s diner. Which I mean, is 24 hours. Army Navy. Army Navy. 50 50s diners in the US, which is supposed to be what it's themed after, is like big breakfast. So instead of going there, we're gonna go to Fisco's. Here it is. Wow. Fisco's. Uh, everybody said to get the str strawberry shortcake here, so let's try and try it. Okay, we can just get a slice. Perfect. Where is it? Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. Just share one piece, probably. Yeah, we can do that. Over here. Okay. That looks very delicious. Right there. Thank you. Surprisingly sweaty. Those backpacks are killers. You're not even on that one. No. Belgian waffles. <laughs> Strawberry French macaroni. Well, if we want a little bit of food, we can always get it. All right, we'll take a look at this menu, but one thing we know we have to get is that strawberry shortcake. For the first looks right. yeah. That looks so good. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice coffee. Oh, yeah. Well, I got hot chocolate here. Looks pretty good, looks milky. And we got the famous Visco's strawberry shortcake. It looks pretty dang good. It does look pretty dang good. I'll let you try it first. I wanna, okay. I'll have it after my... Your bangus? My bangus. Hot to chocolate first. I didn't get a breakfast. I just kinda got a drink and a cake. Why not? That's an American breakfast. Sugar and more sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That's very good. It's like chocolate milk. Oh, it's not uh, like the one hot chocolate we got. Oh, that was just pure melted chocolate. <laughs> yeah, chocolate milk usually really triggers my lactose intolerance. Oh no. That would be very poor. That would be quite poor. That is really good. That's like a super like perfect hot chocolate, exactly what I want. And now, what we're here for. What is this gelatinous stuff up here? This looks amazing. Hold on, baby. Let me get that strawberry out. Oh, that's a nice bite. Definitely a large bite. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Holy God. Tasty? That was probably good. Yum. It's like leche cake where it's like really moist. Ah, uh, it's got the liquid in there. It's delicious. What qualifies as a shortcake? What does that mean? Does it have to have this like middle thing in there? Maybe. It's not very short. No, it's pretty it's pretty tall tall shortcake. Or a short tall cake. It's incredible, whatever type of cake it is. It's very good. It's gonna be gone instantly when this already half gone. <laughs> it's gonna be instantly gone. That is so good. Very impressed. This goes. When something has the hype, you're like, hmm. Hmm. Is it worth it? Sometimes it's not, but that is dun, 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 dun. pretty dang good. Thanks for watching my TED Talk. You guys didn't notice the duck was sitting here the whole time. He's getting zero cake. <laughs> oh my gosh, your Bangus is here? Howdy, partners. I don't know what the heck else I would call it, but Bangus. Today bangus. I'm going to be eating some Bangus. Rice flatten. We got an egg, bangus, and some ricer. Fantastic. Uh, you didn't mention my tomato and carrots oh. and cucumber. It is a bit hot. I'm kind of scared. It is steaming like a mother. Small bite first. Taste test bite. 
Oh, it's on. Oh, it's raw. Really hot. You're being pangus right now. I don't appreciate me. Oh my god. That's so hot. <laughs> I don't appreciate being bangus right now. I'll hit you guys up for another bangus in time. Um, so how much flavor did you get out of your first bite of bangus? I don't think there's any flavor left to be had in my mouth anymore because I singed my taste buds. That's epic. But today we're going to be doing the bangus show. Today, uh, there's been a lot of shows on this vlog today, so you're welcome. Today we're going to be trying bangus and telling you how good it is. You have to eat it breakfast bangus style, which is... Breakfast bangus, yeah, this is the earliest or latest, depending on how you define yep. uh, define it. Because I haven't slept in a long time. <laughs> and we won't be for a while longer. So there's definitely some boners there. Oh. Uh, there's definitely some bones there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful with those ERs. <laughs> Mangus, down the hatch. Mm. Such a good... Good old Bangus. It's so tasty. I love me some Bangus. On a scale of all the Banguses you've had, where would you put this Bangus with the bones? Honestly, like a Bangus out of eight, probably. That's pretty bangus in there. Yeah, yeah, it's probably pretty Bangus-y. Okay. I don't know what any of this means. I'll just try the strawberry cake right now. Okay. I'm excited. I'm very anxious to try this. It's so good. Like Baba Boy? <laughs> like put it out good. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Put it out. It's dog with the butter, butter dog. We played too much Lasagna Party 2, I think. Go check out our gaming channel where the video's not gonna be most ever. <laughs> it will, we have a title now. True. Thank you, Chad GPT. Mm. Whoa, first off, the fruit hits you right away. So good. I haven't had a good strawberry in a long time. And this stuff on top is so sugary. It just adds so much sugar to it because it's sugary. It makes yes. sense, you know. That is very good. And then the cake actually milds it down a little bit because the sh strawberries are so sweet. It's like that old show, the Strawberry Shortcake Show. I don't remember anything about it, but it was a show. It's like a cartoon? Yeah. Like a kid's cartoon? Yeah. It was like a red strawberry girl. Yeah. Strawberry Shortcake. That was viscose. That was very good. It was good hot chocolate, amazing cake. Pretty good bangus. I gotta say that so far we're killing it with recommendations. We we're are. Places you've recommended in general. Bagia, you guys recommended us. Been very epic so far. And then that place, very epic. Very epic. And uh, that's where we're gonna end it here. You got a nice long hike, adventure, very weird, I know. And then some amazing cake. Do you feel satisfied? I am satisfied. My tummy is full. See you next video, everybody. Try to out from Baguio. Look at this city. It's very beautiful.